Hello and welcome back to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV review of Practical Classics magazine uh, March to April 2022 part 3 and we continue with the Your Car section of the magazine. So we have starting off is a Mini 1275 GT called Matilda. This is car of the month. And moving down, we have a Tatra Plan T600. Then we have a 1968 Daimler V8 250. And a more modern classic is this 1996 Volvo 850R. I don't want a trailer queen, I want a car to use. So this is a Jag XJ40 here. And I am totally agree with the guy here. I'm, I'd like to use my car daily. Um, use a 75 daily if I can. It's not a show car in any way, it's not a, a trailer queen. It's, it's got dents in it, it's, but I just, want, I just like to use the car. If it gets dirty and filthy over the winter, it gets dirty and filthy over the winter. It's nothing that bucket of water is going to solve in a, a good wash. I got it for nothing, 1982 Opel Escona SRE. Then we have a 1994 Citroen XM. Before moving down, to a Austin 3 liter ambulance. As soon as I saw it, I knew it had to be mine. Triumph Spitfire 1500. Uh, that, was, that would be the same story as what would be my 75. Yes, yeah, so min Manib, Manib fell for the Spitfire immediately. I wonder if it was the colour, because I wasn't intentionally looking for a facelifted 75 initially. I was actually looking for an original 75 and before the facelift, but it was the colour that sold it to me. It was because it's British Racing Green. That's why I had to have it. And we've got a 1983 Porsche 924. And here is the highest mileage Volvo S80. 2001 Volvo S80. With an incredible 718,000 miles on the clock. 718,000. Now, if you want to know more about this Volvo, then check out YouTube on Gentle's Garage. And here we have the Great British Car Journey, the classic motoring visitor attraction. And we will be attending the Great British Car Journey on the 19th of April. We're going down to have a look. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the drive in of Dad's cars, um, but we will be there and we'll try and put together a video slideshow of the cars at the Great British Car Journey. I'm so looking forward to going to this. Um, to be quite honest, I've been really wanting to go since I've seen this first initial sort of videos that have not put out um, before the museum actually opened. And I do really want to go. I may have to go back and uh, chest drive a car at some time. And we've just been decanted up the stairs by Mrs. Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. So spotted page. Now this is something I really enjoy doing. Uh, spotting old retro cars. So, kicking off here with a Mini and a McLaren. 
Then we have a 1962 Jensen 541S, 1978 Ford, a Fiat 2300S, and a 1972 Austin minivan. Then we have a Renault Alpine, followed by a 1972 Mercedes-Benz 450 SEL, followed by a lovely Rover 200 convertible, Renault 4 van, a 1973 DS, and a Peugeot 404, a patinated Peugeot 404, spotted in Amsterdam. So we shall continue our look. This is a happy accident. This Escort RS2000 failed to take a roundabout one day, but Andrew Morgan's daughter, but it took Andrew Morgan's daughter to her wedding. So it started off as a in October 2017 as a red Ford Escort Mark 1. It's been transformed into what, what I would consider a rally spec uh, Escort RS2000. So it's got a nice roll cage in it. So it's got a plethora of extras, meaning it means that a car means business. So it started off in October 2017. Then in November 2017, the front end was replaced. Then the pillars were changed. June 2018, progress. Uh, after extensive repairs, the shell looks immaculate and fresh diamond white two-pack acrylic paint. And there was the engine choices in 2018. So this is running a 2.1 Pinto. It's got 160 brake horsepower. Um, 125 newton meters or pounds feet of torque. It's five-speed manual. Not to 60 in 6 seconds and it hits a top speed of 128 mile an hour. Economy, 38 miles to the gallon. And if you were to buy this car brand new back in the day, you'd pay 1965 This Escort has got an agreed value now of £48,000. £48,000. just beautiful. So if you're looking to modify your um, Ford Escort Mark 1, then the specialists I uh, recommend are Burton Power, um, Evans and Sons Rally Spares, and if you're looking for an insurance quote, now this is based on a 1974 Ford Escort RS2000, a value of £48,000, you're looking for comprehensive cover from Adrian Fox for £95 a year. Some old period style um, steering wheels for vintage and classic cars. And polybush.co.uk Are we warming to heavily modified cars? Nick asks whether times are really a change him. So this car started off as a Wolseley 680. They've put a Mazda dash in it. And they put a Mazda engine in it, where a straight six once stood. A 
dynamator. Is it a dynamo? Is it an alternator? No, it's a dynamator. So this uses alternator internals. Um, stealth now bring you the dynamator. An authentic looking dynamo that retains the original look of your car, but is in fact a high powered 45 amp alternator. So you've got AccuSpark, modern ignition for classic cars, and some classic seats from just £170, £179.95 from um, bbclassics.co.uk. It's the car equivalent of the white van. Joan bemoans the rise of monochrome motors. So, basically, what John's saying is that modern cars nowadays, if they are just a uh, depressing colour palette. They're grey, they're black, they're silver. Do you remember the day when car parks used to be full of colour? Some classics in there. Just full of colours. Nowadays, it, nowadays it's just... Black, as I said, black, silver, grey, nothing. They all just they all just look alike. It's great. I think it's great to have colours. I mean, I think in the early nineties, I mean, you did see a lot of car car makers bring out some funky colours. Um, you had like your yellows, your lime greens, uh, metallic blues. Nowadays, um, we just want a bland, boring colour just to blend in. Um, so we've got Longstone Classic Tyres from Pirelli. Um, Charlotte Vauden says, Share it. Sure, but experience it too. Why? Social media has a time and place. And Rust stops here. Solution is closer than you think. It's the Rust Buster from Rust Buster from Rust.co.uk. And talking of Rust, here is Rust in Peace. So this is a selection of abandoned cars um, photographed by Oliver De Costa Evans. Now I follow oh I think is Oli Costa maybe on Instagram. So here are some classics that he has taken this time. Uh, pictures of cars rusting in peace. So let's kick off. So we've got a Renault 18 and a Ford Sierra Estate. And there's the Sierra Estate. And there's the Renault 18. We've got an Alpha Sud. Followed by a 74 Maxi. A Lotus Salon. Moving on, you've got a Laguna there. You've actually got a couple. No, that's not a Laguna, that's a saf Saffron. Or Saffron. How are you doing there? Then we have a 1973 Triumph 2000. And a 1982 Hyundai Pony Mark I. A Talbot Sunbeam. And a Reliant Supervan. And it's not yellow. It's not got Trotter, Trotter's Independent Traders on it. And we strip and protect the parts our processes cannot reach. Surface Process Unlimited. And we're going to end part three with um, the subscription pages. So if you've enjoyed Practical Classics reviews so far, then why not consider subscribing to the magazine? So you can pay £4.30 every month 
by recurring direct debit or £48 for 13 issues. Or you can pay £32 for 13 issues when you pay by annual reoccurring direct debit if you want it on digital. Or if you want both on digital and print, £58. Anyway, for a moment, this is the end of part three. Um, don't forget that part four will upload in the next couple of days. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. And we will be back soon with some more practical classics.